Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It is Marisa here. So, today I just want to show you a couple of things and I am going to show you what we are doing today. But first of all, I want to wish everyone a very, very happy and healthy new year. Um, when I'm recording this, it is December 30th. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading this tomorrow or the day after. Um, but tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So, Happy New Year, everyone. And on that note, this is a very happy painting. Um, I did this the other day. I didn't do it on um, video or anything. But um, it was like leftover neon paint and I love it. It does have texture in it. That's um, a lot of silicone in there, uh, but I love it. It's very shiny. I didn't wipe off any silicone, but I'm in love with this painting. Um, that was actually a swipe technique and I just kind of poured on silicone on top of it. I just went nuts, but I really love the way that came out. And how I don't like, well, how I don't like, what I don't like was how, um, the one I did do on video, my last video, how that dried, I mean, from here, it looks awesome, um, I still love it, but it did dry with a lot of pinholes for some reason, I don't know if you could see, oh yeah, you could definitely see that, you see those stinking pinholes? Like, you know, I told you I don't mind um, texture, but, you know, texture like this is kind of cool. It, like, gives, I don't know, dimension to a painting. That I kind of like. Okay, and then a lot of that is silicone, which is, once it's wiped off, you probably won't see half of that anyway. But this, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the paint or the silicone, but I'll be honest with you, I torched it a lot. So I don't know why it dried that way. I don't know, maybe my room was too cold or what, but that is annoying to me. So I am hoping that um, I still have some resin left. Uh, and this is a fairly small canvas uh, for me to practice on. Um, yeah, but that's annoying, so I don't know why that happened. I really torched it. Like I said, I do like the Pouring Masters paint. I am going to use it again today, but I don't like all the bubbles. I don't understand why it creates all those bubbles, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it was the silicone that did this or the paint, but I torched it twice. Um, and I torched it pretty heavily on uh, both times and honestly I didn't see any bubbles um, you know when I stopped pouring and after I torched it so it just dried this way so maybe it was a silicone I don't know maybe I just used too much so but I'm gonna resin it and um, maybe save it but I still love it you know I still love the colors I still love the whole composition of it um, just from far away <laughs> but uh, yeah I think I may resonate and we'll see you know we'll see if that takes that kind of look of the bubbles away um, yeah I mean just because you resin something doesn't mean it takes so you, know, you can still see what's going underneath um, but I still love it, um, except for the bubbles, obviously. So, but I really love this one. See, I don't mind that texture, you know? It's not, like I said, I have to wipe that down. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, you know, silicone on that. But once I wipe it off, it'll be kind of cool. It'll be cooler. Actually, it almost looks like varnish. So, let's get over here and I'm going to show you what we're doing today. So I'm going to use an 8x10 canvas again. Um, I do want to get other sides. Actually, I have two coming. I have two ovals coming, so I'm kind of excited um, to use those. And yeah, rounds and ovals are so much more expensive. That's a pain, but um, I do want to start using more round and um, 
like different shapes and stuff. So today I'm going to do a swipe technique and I am now I'm going to a lot of people um, they use white as uh, like they prime white I'm gonna prime black I've been really loving um, priming black uh, these past few paintings um, just makes these colors pop and really the colors I chose I think will be kind of cool so usually when I do a swipe technique I will you know pour the paint like I did this one um, I'll pour the paint across this way and then I'll swipe it down with like a paper towel or something uh, actually I used this piece of plastic that actually came with the canvases I just bought and I swiped it with that which was actually kind of cool um, but this time I am going to prime the canvas with black and you'll see how I do it but I am going to as an example pour the paint across and then swipe that way and this way and I'm going to use these little pieces of cardboard to as my swipe tool okay so I did use the pouring masses again hopefully um, there will be much less bubbles and I will have to be careful of temperature in my room and also I will uh, torch the hell out of it obviously um, all right so I'm priming with black and again I'm using this beautiful color I love it it is the bubblegum pink and the lemon lime and this wild rose magenta okay so those are my colors and I think oh yes and I'm so excited that's one more thing I wanted to tell you guys I can't wait I literally just got the confirmation email that the primal flow uh, uh, acrylic kit that I bought is on its way it, it just shipped out so maybe in another two to three days because it is a holiday um, I don't think there's any mail in the US tomorrow I'm almost positive of that so that's one day you know that's not gonna have any mail so that's you know kind of sucks but um, and I did not get the hundred dollar kit because I was like you know I wanted to try it first so I got the smaller kit but I can't wait to um, unbox that for you because it does come with a lot of cool things um, not just the paint and one more thing I wanted to know if anyone wanted these really cool um, acrylic skins please let me know um, I do not have any uh, materials I have the here's a couple more skins here these are really kind of cool I do not have any um, jewelry making stuff and I've never done jewelry before so if anyone wants these really cool skins please let me they're really pretty and I know that someone could use them I am willing to ship it I don't have an issue even the backs are cool you know so you can use either side this is more matte here but these are really pretty um, I did save them anyway I figured that one day I'll maybe do something with them but right now I really have absolutely no uh, jewelry making stuff so um, and I would really have to you know kind of teach myself a little bit before I even get you know before I start doing it I want to kind of research it a little bit so for now I'm collecting these skins anyway and um, I didn't want to throw them out you know so I have all this stuff so please let me know if anyone wants them okay all right guys so I will be back in a minute and we're gonna do a swipe technique painting with these beautiful pouring master colors and hopefully no bubbles this time all right I'll see you in a minute bye
Luke, how are you? Alright, so, that was actually a lot of fun. I never did that before. Uh, that technique as far as like, you know, what I just did with the um, little pieces of cardboard. There aren't many cells, but there are little. Um, and I really torched it because I really don't want bubbles this time. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I love the colors I used. Um, you know, I think I need to do a little practicing with this particular technique. Um, like I said, usually I do the other swipe technique. Um, I use like a paper towel and I run it down the whole um, canvas and then usually I'll add some chameleon cells. But this was pretty cool. I like not using any silicone and I also wanted to try uh, this paint again with no silicone because I just wanted to know what create all those bubbles but I torched it again and again just to make sure so I am pretty happy with it I love the colors I love the little you know the design the texture the movement in here I think it's pretty cool but again, you know, it's my first time doing uh, this technique, so I think I need a little practice, and that's okay. So, listen guys, I hope you all have the most wonderful new year. I hope you all are healthy and happy in the new year. Happy 2020. Alright, so that is it for today, guys. Enjoy your holiday. And I will see you the next time. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Happy New Year! Yeah, yeah.